Hi folks, welcome back to another beautiful sunny day. It uh, feels like spring finally, and you know, with the signs of spring and summer, gets you thinking about you know the expeditions you want to get involved in um, and adventures for the for the warm season. And certainly for me, one of those will be getting out in the boat again, getting my canoe ready, etc. So when I was thinking about the gear I'd be using, I thought I'd take opportunity to just show you guys this knife that I came across recently. Um, the knife in question is a Mayachin rigging knife. Comes as what they call the rigging system. And it is designed for use uh, in sailing with sailboats. So it's designed for wet and salty environments. So it needs to be rust resistant. Anyway, so the reason I sort of thought about this knife or the, what I thought might be good for was many, many years ago, I worked as a river guide for a few years and whenever you in the water and you're using ropes and in that case we were using these uh, rescue ropes this is my old one uh it's a bit hasn't been used for a while but you know you throw this out to pull people in and when you have ropes in a dynamic system like that you need to have a way of cutting them if something goes wrong so we were always on the lookout for good knives that would obviously be rust resistant um, but also they wouldn't be too dangerous. So we'd often get dive knives and cut the tip off because you didn't want to have a sharp tip because we used to have them on our life jackets. Um, so when I came across this knife, I thought it might've been a fairly useful uh, equivalent if it had been around at that time. Um, it's got a blunt tip and you know, it's designed for use in water. So it got me thinking, would this be a really good knife for use for general camping purposes uh, in canoeing situations? So if you are canoeing in the wilderness and you want to have a fixed blade knife for you know general purpose, not just cutting ropes, uh, maybe this would be a good option. So this knife um, is billed as a rigging knife, as I said. Um, it's made from pro marine stainless steel. Now, it doesn't actually say too much about, uh, well, it doesn't say anything about place of manufacture actually, but a little bit of research on forums suggests that this may, they were originally made in Japan and now made elsewhere in the Far East. So I think it's designed by an American designer who was a sailor and wanted a robust knife for, you know, his sailing adventures. And so he came up with this knife and he also includes the, Marlin spike um, in the sheath. So the blade, as I say, is the marine grade stainless steel. It's got G10 handles, and this uh, recess here is a shackle key. So you can actually put it on the end of a shackle, um, different sizes, and you can twist the shackle open. So that's what that is for. Um, and there's a similar one on the Marlin spike. Now they also do a version of this knife with a three quarter serrated edge, which would be better for cutting rope. Now the sheath is, is leather, so it's gonna, not gonna be ideal for long use in, you know, in water. So I think if you're in kayaks, etc., and you have a lot of water, it's probably not the best solution. You know, some sort of plastic sheath would be better. But I think for canoeing and camping, it's actually quite a good compromise. Um, it's just a fairly standard, well-made, good welt um, leather sheath, and it has the sheath for the marlin spike as well on the outside. The profile of the grind is probably more well, a flat saber, sheep's foot blade, so it has got a blunt tip and that's really designed for if you drop it, it's not got a sharp spike that's gonna puncture anything. So although designed for cutting rope primarily, it's certainly working pretty well on this wood. Now this, is, this was cut a few weeks ago, so it's partially dry and it's not proving any problems on that. Now for testing it on rope, you'll forgive me if I don't cut my throw bag and my rescue rope because uh, that would be a bit foolish. Um, but I have got some roughly equivalent and we'll see how we get on with cutting rope. So pretty much slices through it like butter, um, which I guess is what you'd expect and what you'd hope. So 
So the grind takes a bit of getting used to, but it does produce, you know, passable feather sticks and I'm sure with practice it would get better. So certainly no problems in that department really. So when you get to your base for the night, what about a bit of kitchen prep? I mean, it's producing pretty thin slivers there, so no issues with the ground on that one. It's not a full flat, but it's doing very fine cuts on this tomato, so definitely not a problem there either. So the addition of the marlin spike um, could be seen as an advantage in this scenario as well. So the marlin hitch uh, is a useful knot to know, and certainly in things like if you're using bank line and you want to get some tension on the line, then you know using the marlin hitch or marlin knot and having a dedicated marlin spike for that purpose there's no bad thing i mean you can obviously make these out of stick at camp but if you have one handy and it can also be used for prying knots loose as well so that's the marlin knot or hitch and you can use it to pull this rope tight. And once you finish, you can just take the spike out and the knot's loose. Very useful knot to know as well, if you don't know it already, but you know, particularly handy with something like a spike that you can use to give you extra purchase on the rope. I know it's a very quick overview, but you know, what are my conclusions? Well, I think if you after a, a knife that you want to use for general camping purposes but you are going to be doing a fair bit of canoeing or maybe even sailing but you're spending a lot of time in wet environments it's not a bad option um, as i say it's fairly safe so you're not going to be able you're not going to puncture stuff like canoes and rafts um, the stainless presumably will stand the test of time i mean it is sold for sailors all the time that's the main market so you know it must, and it has been around for you know a few decades so I suspect it won't be an issue. Certainly the tasks I put it to, you know, just the general sort of carving wood for ten pegs or feather sticks, cutting up food for camp prep, you know, it was clearly good at cutting rope as well. Um, it's, it's quite a nice comfortable shape in the hand, it's not too thick. The G10 is going to be pretty robust material, you know, it's got a lanyard hole, it's got some jimping on the back as well for good grip. It does feel good in the hand, it's not a particularly big knife. Um, you can take the scales off if you want to. Now, I think they do do other versions with wood handles for a more traditional look. But I think, you know, if you're going to use it in water, you, you probably want something like the G10. Um, as I said, the sheath isn't going to be perfect. You spend a lot of time in the water. But I think for canoe camping, it's more than fine. And, you know, personally, I think the addition of the marlin spike is just a, a useful extra bit of kit. So I think the whole setup is, is pretty good. Um, worth having a look at. They're not particularly expensive. They don't seem to really have compromised on anything. It's, it's well made, well put together, and a good little package. So, um, you know, if anyone's interested, take a look. Um, I think it's quite an interesting one. Pretty different to what you see usually used in bushcraft, but you know, it's like anything. If you have the, the best knife to have in any situation is the one you've actually got with you. So, if you're worried about taking your nice knife in on your canoe because you're worried about losing it or getting it wet it's going to be useless to you sitting at home uh, and maybe in that scenario it's good to have one with you in the boat and this one certainly pretty much does most of what you need it to do so yeah i think it was quite interesting to take a look at this this blade um hopefully it was interest to you guys and anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you next time